Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Bra Nutrition CEO. Guys, today I have a question from Matt. It is about training efficiency. Matt wants to know how to build the most amount of muscle in the least amount of time. Um, does he need supersets or antagonistic sets or reverse pyramids, that kind of stuff? I'm going to clear up this topic. Before I do so, if you have a question for me, check out the link below. Your questions come straight to my email. The best questions I turn into a video just like this. <clears throat> so excuse me, it's Monday morning. I'm trying to get the frogs, the frogs out of my throat and the fog out of my head. Here's a question from Matt. It says, I was wondering how you train a program for a novice beginner that would be focused on gaining muscle with little time investment, little time investment. I would assume antagonistic non-competing supersets where you cycle 1A, 1B, not sure proper terminology, um, that with the main lifts of stuff like bench row, squat, deadlift. I feel like a lot of programs I see try to talk down doing anything during your rest time and programs can be anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes. I've been trying to figure out how to make my training efficient 20 to 30 minutes because I only needed that little I only needed that little amount of time. I would be likely to adhere to a program more. If I am trying to be efficiency, would I would that make, for example, a two to three set reverse pyramid training style? Okay, look, <clears throat> that's um, here's what you need to understand, Matt. Drop all the bullshit. Drop all the bullshit. Reverse pyramids, um, antagonistic non-competing supersets, drop all the bullshit. Here's what you need to understand about making gains in minimal amount of time. Number one, it comes down to exercise selection. You're going to have a limited amount of time in the gym, so you need to choose the best exercises. I think you understand that because you mentioned bench, you mentioned bench row, squat, deadlift, etc. So you understand priority. There's two other main factors you need to understand. Making every set count. Don't worry about pyramid sets. Don't worry about antagonistic sets, etc. Right now, you need to worry about making every set count. That means push every set you do in that time period for as many reps as possible, stopping that set when you feel like you might fail on the next rep or when your form is going to crap. This will ensure that you push every set to the limit, you're maximizing the muscle building process, and you're also maximizing progressive overload. So you, you've got a good exercise selection. Um, you're pushing every set to the limit. That's, that's a good base. Now, the last factor is rest periods. You don't, you can do a rest pause type of training, um, which is very good for a limited amount of time in the gym, or you can sim simply limit rest periods to 45 set seconds to a minute in between exercises. On the big lifts like squats and deadlifts, um, on deadlifts, you might want to do just a rest pause style of deadlifts where you're doing as many singles as possible in five to seven minutes. Do a single, release your hands off the bar, um, catch your breath, come back, do another single, do as many singles as you can in five to seven minutes. Say when you can do eight to ten singles, then you add weight. That's a good way to approach a deadlift rest pause style. On the other lifts, like squats, you want to make sure that you are mentally and physically ready to go again, that your form's not being compromised and that you're not beating up your body. So you can do rest pause style, just make sure it's always with quality form, or you can just do 45, 30, 45 um, to 60 seconds in between sets. Now with all this said, um, 20 to 30 minutes isn't a lot. It isn't a lot. It's not going to leave you time for much of anything. So understand this is not optimal for muscle growth. The reason why most programs run 45 minutes to an hour, 90 minutes for muscle growth is because that's typically the volume or time under tension it is, that's required to build muscle. Um, the guys that are doing more compound movements per workout, um, the guys that have built a little bit of strength and require a little bit more warm-up sets, they're going to require more time in the gym. So as a beginner, you can get it done in 45 minutes to 60 uh, minutes. But if you're trying to build muscle 20 to 30 minutes a day, two to three times a week, it's not optimal. I'm just going to be real here. It's not optimal. If you don't, and, and I see a bigger red flag here in your question, you don't like training. That's a huge red flag. So I can give you all these variables. I can give you all these information. 
but you're trying to get into the gym and get out and build as much muscle as possible, you don't have that foundational love for lifting. And this is a major issue. And I'm not being critical, but I'm telling you, if you don't find that foundational love, if you don't find that love for the gym, for training, none of this stuff that I'm talking about is going to matter. You need to find a way to love what you're doing. Understand that it's probably optimal to be in the gym 45 to 60 minutes a day. Don't try to do all this magical, mystical bull crap. It's not going to unlock some key for you to build muscle in 15 to 20 minutes a day. The real reality... As you, you need, as you get stronger over the next six months, you're going to need time in the gym. You're going to need time under tension. You're going to need a reasonable volume of sets. You're not going to want to constantly rush and beat up your body and restrict things. And if you don't like doing this in the long run, you're probably not going to see results anyway. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the information below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.